G'day everyone, welcome back to Pearl Beach. Well, I hope you're all doing well, I'm going good. Just been busy with everyday life and work and all that sort of thing. But yeah, I come to Pearl Beach today to uh, paint a wave, but the waves aren't. Oh, I better get out of the way here. <laughs> it's coming right up. As soon as I said it, there was a big wave. It's been like a very quiet and then every time I wanted to get a reference photo or something or work out some kind of composition with a wave painting I'm going to do every time I go to do it and I'm not ready there's a big wave and then most of the time they're little waves so anyway I'm here at oh, oh, I'll just show you just like that as I said as soon as I'm not ready a big wave crashes so anyway yeah I've come to Pearl Beach um, beautiful day no wind nice and quiet because it's because it's winter it's um you just readjust you guys there because it's winter there's not that many people out which is good but what a beautiful day have a look at this down here ain't that beautiful make a nice painting but i'll tell you painting into the light can hurt your eyes when you when you spend an hour or so um looking into the light but yeah great day for painting and um yeah i'm pumped to uh, do a wave painting so I'm going to um, I'm, well, I'm using the aluminium composite board and I'll show you guys I put a little bit of a wash in I haven't worked out exactly what I'm going to do yet like with the shape of the wave and all that sort of thing but I'll show you guys so yeah well basically there's a lot to paint like I could paint that view looking up there but over at the point there well you've got that island that's behind lying island and it's just if there was a little bit of a gap between the two uh, that would make a good painting. Same down here, looking into the light, very beautiful. Um, that's a painting for another day, but like, look at that, that's just spectacular. It'd be awesome to paint. But I've been watching the waves, I've been sitting here for about 15 minutes or so, just getting ready and all that. And um, there's some really nice ones, even though if I can capture that movement in the water, then I think I could do a good little painting. So yeah, as I said, I'll show you guys here. So I've just done a wash, you know, with yellow ochre burnt sienna at the bottom. And then I've just put like um, uh, Scarlet Lake with ultramarine blue. And then added a bit of viridian to it as I work my way up. So I've just got a wash and it's wet. So I'm just going to let it tack off a little bit. And then as it tacks off, um, I'm going to um, take, take some photos of broken waves and work out the best composition and best movement so that I can do so um yeah I'll do that Okay. Okay, I've got a, I've got a couple. I'll I'll have a look at them. Hopefully, this can tack off, and we'll start painting. I knew that was going to happen. I got my feet wet. Gee. 
There you go. Good start to the day. Nice and soaking wet now. Oh, well, that's part of the parcel, ain't it? So anyway, yeah. Oh, the waves are starting to look better now as I go. All right, so um, how's this looking? Is it tacking off? Tack yeah, it's tacking off. I could probably start start with the the distance. I'm not going to put the horizon in. I don't think I will put the horizon in. Um, I'll have a think about that. I might put a tiny bit of a horizon in. Might put a tiny bit of a horizon in. Yeah. Mm. Nah, I won't. Nah, I'll just go water, water down to the wave. So yeah, I did get a better picture of a wave. So. The wave's basically going to be there, breaking there, and I'm going to uh, start, as I said, with the, the water in the background. That wet paint's tacked off a bit now, so it's a lot better to work with. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get a pallet knife and I'm going to start breaking up the wave. Okay, what I'm going to do is, my, my distant water was too light, so I've added a bit of cobalt blue, and I'm going to just go over it a little bit and work it in so there's a lot of depth and colour. Just to break it up, you know, and um, give it some more depth. Pellet knife. Some people think pellet knife doesn't have a place in the seascape, or well, I think it does, I think it does a great job. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on my sand, get that in, and then I can finish it off and complete it where the wave is.
Okay, so I'm doing the highlights on the waves now. Just trying to get get a shape happening without overdoing it. Okay, so what I've done is I actually overdone it with the um, too much highlight white, so I've made up a like a mauve colour. Um, and I'm just going working that back into the waves to give it a bit more depth, so I'll just do that. And then I'll just go over the top with a tiny bit of highlight and that should be it. Probably just got to make up a little bit more of this highlight. I'm using, uh, put a little bit of yellow, uh, lemon yellow in there. Find a bit of Scarlet Lake. A little bit of yellow ochre. bit of highlight here and I'll just soften that in and there's just a tiny bit of tiny bit of highlight on the water
Okay, I've done the painting here at Pearl Beach. Oh, I'll tell you what, I can't say I didn't struggle a bit because I, I struggled, I overdone it a bit with the, the, the white highlight and then, um, yeah, worked back into it. But I, I didn't end up muddy, so that's a good thing. But anyway, yeah, I'll show you guys. Tell me what you think in the comments. And, like, I'm not that good at waves, but I'm just trying to get better at them like the rest of us. So let's have a look. Okay, so there's my wave painting here today at Pearl Beach. I think I've got a bit of mermen in there. Tell me what you think in the comments. How do you go with uh, pain and waves? Any tips? Give me some tips. Because uh, yeah, I've always struggled with it, but um, it's great to come out anyway and have a paint, show you guys. And I've uh, got some good videos coming up soon, in a couple of weeks time. Um, it'll be all hands on deck and uh, you will see. So anyway, thanks for coming along, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.